your web development process? Because I know that's a big part of what you what you do. And not just web development, but creating an online presence for an institution, for an organization, a business. What are some of the core factors, the key attributes, information, characteristics, functionalities even, that you have found have been helpful in creating a successful online presence for businesses and organizations? That's a, that's a great question. Um, I, I get back to... So if we're focusing just on, on a website, because in my experience, we, we try to go much deeper than the website. To me, a website is one piece of the business. It's a small piece, but it's a really important piece. It's a small piece, but it shines really brightly. You know, there's so many more pieces to a business, to something being effective. And um, I get back to the customer experience and, and what kind of experience are we trying to provide the customer? Not just their experience, but specifically the customer journey. So a lot of people, when they do website work, they think in terms of personas. They think in terms of, okay, well, uh, you know, you're going to have leads coming to this website and they need to do this. You're going to have uh, customers coming to the website and they need to do this. And, and they kind of maybe write that out. And, that, and that's a useful tip. And I'm not against that at all. But I try to go one step further because just describing what a person wants to do on a website uh, doesn't really, the website is just the beginning part of an entire customer journey. So much so that I call it the customer journey entry point. So mm -hmm. I try to take a, a website and satisfy all those requirements like the, you know, the personas and what individuals want to do on the website. And obviously it needs to be beautiful and it needs to be utilitarian and, and serve all of those purposes. It needs to be constructed according to best practices and fast and optimized and SEO. And, um, and most people with any reasonable budget can get there. But I try to make the website a mechanical, useful tool within the operations of the business. And so we've gotten more and more into building logged in portals, for example, where whether you're a lead or whether you're a customer, doing the actual business of collaborating with the web publisher, with the, the business, we build a portal where orders can be seen and invoices paid and profiles built and preferences managed. And so, so we take it that much further and we make sure that we always take the website and connect it to a business management system in the back end where the leads, contacts, documents, invoices, credit card processing, all of that can be viewed, managed, uh, built into, like I said earlier, a full customer journey where they enter at the website, they meet with the client, they have their sales, they have their proposals, all the way through customer service and delivery. And ultimately, our job as businesses, as any business, is to figure out how do we turn this customer into a passionate advocate? That's really, you, delivering the service is one thing, but how do you turn them into a passionate advocate? We, we should be seeing all the way through to that end. I, um, I sat and I listened, and a few things came to mind. And the thing I want to touch on really is this point. You said that you like to consider the website as the entry point of the customer journey. And I like to consider the website the central point of the customer journey. Because for me, the, the website is, a, is like the biggest and the most important part of the customer journey. Reason being, with social media, let's say I have a business. I um, So I'm selling water bottles, all right? And right. I have a social media page. And I'm selling my water bottles. I post pictures on Instagram. At any point in time, I could lose my Instagram account, which is what I try to tell clients at all times that you could lose your social media account. It's a rental. It's not yours, you know. But when I have my customer visit my website, there are a few options. I could convert them to a lead. I could remarket with Google or Facebook ads, etc. I can present more information. I can conduct some form of business, collect a payment, et cetera, et cetera. So I like to have it as a central point. All entry points, that is email, referral, affiliates, social media, et cetera, right. SEO. Everything leads back to my website. But when you use your website in such a way, which is how you and I tend to use it, 
it's like you're saying that the business itself in its physical aspect, so the location of the business where you go as a business owner to operate, is just a small part of the success of your business. Because if you have a login portal, you have a order dashboard, you can set up your preferences. Maybe you can automate your orders every month. You want to be sent a box of chocolates or on your birthday or on your anniversary, whatever the case might be, you want to get a certain service or um, product in as a customer, that is. I think that works better than going on YouTube going on theme forest, going on Google, getting a template, editing some information and just slapping it on the internet. <laughs> yeah, 